Okay, today we're looking at the Minolta SRT 101. It, the, the 101 is uh, an upgrade from the 100, just like the 201 is an upgrade from the 200. So if you see these and you see the 101 or the 100 side by side, go for the one with the uh, one at the end of the uh, end of the uh, model number because they're the upgraded versions. And so this is a camera I picked up for very little money, probably twenty dollars. It has a 50 millimeter 1.4 lens on it. It's amazing how many of these older cameras people bought them with really fast lenses. That's a great, great lens. And it's a little bit dusty, needs a good cleaning. But the first thing I always do when I pick up a camera is I check the shutter speeds. An eighth of a second should sound different from a half a second. And it does. And it should sound different than a 250. And it does. So that seems to have shutters that are working. That's the first thing I know about it. Um, it has a self timer. It has a mirror lockup. It has a button here to remove the lens. We look inside and it looks like the uh, mirror is in pretty good shape. Sometimes you'll see like goo on the mirror. You want to make sure that doesn't happen. When you look through the viewfinder, if there is any kind of uh, foam or anything sticky on the mirror, you'll see it in the viewfinder. So the lens looks good. The back of the lens looks pretty good. There's no obvious marks on it. We can uh, test it to see if it's working as far as, let me get this one back on, you know, as we shoot at a half a second or a second, we should see that those shutter blades, those aperture blades close down. And I don't know that I saw that in my viewfinder here. Let me see. Yeah, it's doing it. So what you want is you want to be able to see that the apertures are closing down. That close down the F16. That should close down the F4 just a little bit. Again, hopefully you can see that in the viewfinder, but I did check it and it is working. So uh, in the back of the camera, oh, here's the price, look. $14.99. $15 for a camera with a 50 millimeter F1.4 lens that's working. Inside, it looks like there's some foam in here that's getting a little bit brittle, but it looks like it's okay still. It's actually still in intact. This could use a good dusting out. I haven't done anything since I picked this up and brought it back. Um, again, inside, you should be able to see the shutter working, and it should be changing at different shutter speeds. It should be going all the way across and not stopping. The... Uh, Advanced area, everything looks like it's turning properly and it looks rather clean inside. I don't see any little bits of broken film or anything on the inside, so that seems like a good thing. Again, through the viewfinder, the viewfinder looks clear. This is a very basic camera, it's kind of like a Pentax K1000. It's a workhorse. It's the first camera that Annie Leibovitz worked with, so it's kind of got some legacy as far as who has used a Minolta SRT camera. There's a depth of field preview button. Like I said, there's a mirror lockup on the, uh, it's right there on the uh, upgraded models with the extra one. And most of that stuff you won't ever really need, but if you are shooting a landscape or you wanna shoot something where you can really make sure that there's no camera shake from the mirror flipping up, that would be a good way to check it. So this is a good camera. I'd recommend uh, the Minolta. It's heavy as can be. It's solid feeling. I like them a lot better than the modern 90s Minolta's and also even the uh, XGM's and the XGA's that came out right before them. Those have a lot more plastic on them. This one has a lot of uh, a very solid feel and this would be my recommendation for if you're looking for an old manual mechanical camera, all the shutters on this are, are, are mechanical. There's no battery needed for the shutter to operate. The only thing the battery works is the meter. So put a meter in, put a, a, a battery into the battery compartment, turn it on and see if it works. I haven't even had a chance to check it. If it does work, you'll see the meter moving as you point it towards light and away from light. And if it doesn't, then you have to guess exposure, which 
Again, I would say if you went and took this lens, a 50 millimeter 1.4, and you took it inside any pub at night with a band playing, if you shot it at a 60 at f1.4 and focus it and hold the camera still, you would get an image on film, like a 400 speed film. A lot of times people really get bogged down by the metering, and I think that you know most of the time you can get away with just guessing the metering. There's a rule called the Sunny 16 rule, and I would highly recommend learning it. It's simple, it's something that you can easily remember, and then it makes it work so that you can use a camera like this when you have no working meter. But again, once I put a battery in, the battery may work the meter just fine. Anyway, it's a Minolta SRT 101, really nice mechanical camera made by Minolta. All right, I'll see you next time. We'll have some more cameras for you.